If you're in Brussels or planning to go to Brussels, here are 10 things you should do. For a more updated list and some useful links about cheap hotels, flights, experience and travel insurance, check the description below. Grand Place, Grootmarkt. The Grand Place, often referred to as Grootmarkt in Dutch, stands as the historical and cultural centerpiece of Brussels. Its architectural splendor and vibrant atmosphere make it a must-visit destination for anyone exploring the city. Flanked by opulent guild halls, the town hall, Hotel de Ville, is a magnificent example of Gothic architecture. The intricately designed facades of the buildings surrounding the square showcase a blend of Gothic, Baroque, and Louis XIV styles, reflecting the city's rich past as a trading hub. The King's House, Maison du Roi, now houses the Brussels City Museum, providing an opportunity to learn about the city's history and development. Throughout the year, the Grand Place hosts a variety of events and festivals, such as the Biennial Flower Carpet Festival, where the entire square is adorned with a massive floral tapestry. The Winter Wonders Christmas Market transforms the Grand Place into a magical winter wonderland with twinkling lights, seasonal treats, and an ice skating rink. Atonium The Atonium is an iconic architectural masterpiece that was designed for the 1958 Brussels World's Fair, Expo 58. It symbolizes both the scientific progress and the optimistic spirit of the post-war era. The structure is a colossal representation of an iron crystal magnified 165 billion times. Comprising nine interconnected spheres, visitors can explore various exhibitions that highlight different aspects of human achievement, from science and art to design and culture. The Atomium's unique design provides an immersive experience as visitors travel between spheres using escalators, tunnels, and elevators. The top sphere offers breathtaking panoramic views of Brussels and its surroundings, providing a bird's-eye perspective of the city's layout and landmarks. The Atonium remains not only a tribute to the Expo's theme but also a futuristic symbol of Brussels' forward-looking spirit. Mannequin P. The Mannequin P statue, translating to Little Man P in Dutch, is an emblematic and whimsical landmark that captures Brussels' playful character. The statue depicts a bronze sculpture of a small boy urinating into a fountain. Its origins trace back to medieval folklore, and the statue has evolved into a beloved and irreverent symbol of the city. Over the centuries, the mannequin piss has been dressed in a vast array of costumes, gifts from various countries and organizations. The tradition of dressing the statue is a testament to Brussels' festive and inclusive spirit, often reflecting current events or celebrations. The nearby Mannequin P Museum provides an opportunity to explore the history, evolution, and significance of this quirky symbol, shedding light on its enduring popularity. Chocolate and Waffle Tasting Brussels' reputation as a haven for chocolate lovers and waffle enthusiasts is well-deserved. The city boasts a diverse array of chocolatures, each crafting exquisite creations that showcase Belgium's expertise in chocolate making. From pralines and truffles to chocolate-covered fruits and nuts, the chocolate shops offer a sensory journey through flavors, textures, and artistic designs. Similarly, Brussels waffles are a delectable treat that showcases the city's culinary heritage. Street vendors and cozy cafes serve up warm, freshly made waffles adorned with an array of toppings, including whipped cream, strawberries, bananas, and of course, rich Belgian chocolate. Exploring the city's chocolate and waffle offerings is a delightful experience that indulges both the palate and the senses. European Parliament Brussels plays a pivotal role as the administrative hub of the European Union, and the European Parliament stands as a prominent institution within the city. Visitors can engage in guided tours that provide valuable insights into the functioning of the EU and the role of the European Parliament in shaping policies and legislation. The Hemicycle, the parliamentary chamber, is where lively debates and discussions take place, and guided tours often include visits to this significant space. Exploring the European Parliament offers a glimpse into the complexities of the EU's decision-making processes, fostering a better understanding of its impact on Europe and the world. Brussels Royal Palace While the Grand Place often takes the spotlight, the Brussels Royal Palace, or Palais Royal de Bruxelles, stands as an elegant testament to Belgium's monarchy and architectural heritage. While the palace is primarily reserved for official ceremonies and state events, it opens its doors to the public during the summer months, inviting visitors to explore its grandeur. The state rooms, adorned with opulent tapestries, intricate chandeliers, and exquisite artworks, provide a glimpse into the world of royalty. 
The history of the palace is interwoven with the nation's story, and the grandeur of its architecture reflects the country's historical and cultural significance. Adjacent to the palace, the Parc de Bruxelles, Brussels Park, offers a serene backdrop where visitors can appreciate the palace's exterior and enjoy leisurely strolls amid lush greenery. The juxtaposition of regal architecture and natural beauty creates a harmonious blend that captures the essence of Brussels' historical and contemporary identity. Bois de la Camber, Turk Cameron Bows Nestled within the heart of Brussels, the Bois de la Camber, known as Ter Cameron Bows in Dutch, beckons like a well-guarded secret waiting to be discovered. This enchanting expanse of nature offers a sanctuary of serenity, a lush escape from the urban rhythm merely moments away. The forested haven unfurls its beauty through a labyrinth of meandering paths that wind beneath the embrace of towering trees. As you stroll along these picturesque trails, the rustling leaves and the dappled sunlight create a soothing symphony that drowns out the city's clamor. Enveloped by this verdant embrace, you'll encounter tranquil ponds that mirror the sky and invite moments of quiet contemplation. The option to leisurely paddle across these serene waters in quaint rowboats is a charming invitation to connect with nature at your own pace. The park's landscapes unfurl like a painting, offering idyllic spots for picnics under the canopy of leaves or for unwinding on lush lawns. Beyond its beauty, the Bois de la Camber is a playground of possibilities. As the seasons change, the park's character transforms, revealing an ever-evolving canvas of colors and textures. Spring blooms paint the landscape with vibrant hues, while autumn's golden palette evokes a sense of nostalgia. While Brussels is famed for its architectural marvels, its status as the epicenter of Belgian beer culture is equally compelling, beckoning you to savor not just a drink, but an entire narrative encapsulated in each glass. Venturing into this intricate landscape of flavors involves much more than merely lifting a glass. It's an invitation to time travel, to journey through the annals of history, connecting with the monks who meticulously brewed within abbey walls, the merchants who established brewing guilds, and the innovators who pushed the boundaries of brewing techniques. The traditional pubs that dot the cityscape serve as living repositories of these narratives, offering not just a sip of beer but a taste of the past. As you step into these centuries-old establishments, the ambience itself is a testament to the reverence with which Belgians regard their beer. Wooden interiors, softly glowing lighting, and the hum of animated conversations create an atmosphere that envelops you in the warmth of community and culture. Here, you'll find yourself in the company of not just locals, but fellow travelers from around the world, all united by their shared fascination for these liquid treasures. Royal Museum of the Armed Forces and Military History Nestled within the expansive embrace of Cinquantenaire Park, the Royal Museum of the Armed Forces and Military History stands as a monument to valor, sacrifice, and the evolution of human conflict. More than a repository of artifacts, this museum offers a journey through time, a vivid tapestry woven with the threads of courage, innovation, and the indomitable spirit that has shaped the course of nations. As you step through its imposing entrance, you embark on an odyssey that spans epochs, revealing the transformation of warfare and the impact it has had on societies. The museum's halls resonate with the echoes of history as they unfold through a vast collection of military artifacts, vehicles, uniforms, and weaponry, each bearing witness to the human drama that has unfolded on battlefields across the world. Nestled in the heart of Brussels, Cinquantenaire Park offers a serene escape that beautifully intertwines history and nature. Created in 1880 to mark 50 years of Belgian independence, this urban haven boasts lush greenery and remarkable landmarks. The triumphal arch takes center stage, a monumental Roman-inspired structure that welcomes visitors to explore a world where past and present coexist. The park's expansive lawns and tree-lined pathways provide a tranquil setting for leisurely strolls, picnics, or moments of relaxation. Thanks for watching the video. If you're visiting Brussels, you should definitely visit all the places we mentioned in this video. I hope this guide was helpful. See you in the next one.